ready for something with fun flavor. This is an ABAC Boost Brew. And, well, as a brew to me, I'm going to bring this to you. So, first volume came out in the middle of 2011, and Rick Ross kind of started forming that about somewhere between late 2010 and that point. And Sponge's music came out. So we got introduced to some new cats Hill, Stolly, Wale, Meek Mill, in addition to future people. I don't think Stolly's on this album, but you know, you do get these three. Each of these characters, you know, they have the perks, I think you'll like them. They, it's kind of similar to some of some other rappers who have had their groups come up, so you definitely get something. And Meek Mill in particular, I think Wale actually dropped an album this year as well, but Meek Mill just dropped one and stayed at number one for a couple of weeks, so you get that. And Rick Ross. I, I, I mean, the, the true question of ruling is a little bit tricky just because this is something that's kind of beneath the radar. And I never really heard a song just kind of blow up from this album, but I will say that it's got some cuts that are worth, you know, just if you can jam to it. You can definitely cut loose to it, and, you know, there's just plenty of stuff to do. You can smoke to it, most definitely, so there are sequels to this album, and you'll just have to check those out. I'm not sure if I'm going to review them, though, but this one busted out, and it kind of, you know, it has, like, Songs similar to Waka Flocka, which is another reason why I picked this album, is just because, um, you know, that sound was really big 2010, 11, and even parts of 2012. And so you're going to get some of, you know, the songs like Hard in the Paint. You know, there's definitely records like that. And. Yeah. So, can you smoke to this? I think you can. 600 Benz, Pac-Man, Tupac Back. These are all great songs to smoke to. Big Bank, I'm a Boss. You know, you've got your records. And the production, like I said, this is the thing. is These are not necessarily beats that just completely envelop you. So it's not as well produced as like a rap album that would have been produced by Dr. Dre or even in some cases Lil Jon, you know, so like, um, you know, it just isn't necessarily, um, how do I say it? Like it, it's 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 pretty much like a certain sound. So it it's kind of capitalizing on a trend and widening that appeal. And in doing so, there just wasn't enough room to go back to older styles. So there are some other songs on here that kind of have like bells and this more mellow production, but it just doesn't fit. You know, it's like having a red and a blue. You know, you've got to, you can't do polar opposites and expect it to work. You've got to do things that are similar to that style. Which is kind of the reason why I, I, I'm not going to give this the highest score, even though I like more than half of the album. You know, I, I was really looking for like a beat kind of similar to I'm a Boss that just happens to be a winner the entire time. But it's very few. But luckily, I do like the production that is a newer style. Tupac Back, 600 Benz, Pac-Man, these are all great beats. 
but you know if you do not like this sort of style this brasher more rowdy type music that really seems like you're jamming you know you're getting you're really cutting loose on this album um you know that's this you probably won't like this record so um the unheard songs luckily there's a ton you know the even though I, it sounds like I'm complaining about this album, it doesn't change the fact that if you like this sort of stuff, it's really good. Um, the whole first half of the album is excellent. Tupac Back, 600 Bends, Pac-Man, By Any Means, Fitted Cap. These are all excellent songs. In addition to that, there's I'm a Boss, Pandemonium, and Big Bank. That's 8 out of 15. Then there's a almost song I just you know kind of that way. It's mellow, has a hook, has a good hook on there, but I just do. Um, you know, we really needed something. Like I mean, you know, if you like sports, you got to think what goes hand in hand with sports. Obviously. You're going to like cars, and you're going to like, um, what else? You're going to like clothes, and probably food, and women. You know, these are just things that go hand in hand with sports, but something that, do, you know, you just, you got to be able to find those things that go hand in hand, so I was kind of looking forward to that. But, um, which is why the, the other songs that I don't like, you'll probably notice that the energy really dies down. But other than that, I mean, you know, nine, essentially eight, nine songs out of 15 is still rather good. Um, definitely surprising just considering that this was their first album. So I recommend this release. I'm gonna give it like a six and a eight out of fifteen. Really, that's just a little bit better than half. So I'm gonna give it like a six. I want to give it a six and a half, but I'm just gonna give it a straight six out of ten. And you know, the future. Um, there, I I think I've heard that they're gonna make like a self-made volume four. So, you can look for that, and is this album social? Now, really, I'm going to give it like a 4 out of 10 social, just because, you know, these guys are on here, they keep the energy, but it's not necessary. I mean, the sound is not the most approachable. You know, that's, that's kind of the problem with Waka as well, is just, you know, these releases were not quite as approachable. I'm not just doing this for people who don't like rap, but really, it, it is so brash and abrasive that, you know, you either like it, it's a love it or hate it type thing. And I guess I could give it a 5 out of 10 social because I do like it, but, you know, it's going to be your choice. So can it be topped? Yeah, I think so. But even though this is this is worthwhile, don't miss this release just because of the score. So yeah, six out of ten, five social.